and welcome. I look kind of rough today because I am in my PJs. PJ and it up. It's like, no, just playing. Um, we are doing the Poison Ivy part two. Um, I neglected to do a intro for this video and to get more video footage. So this video is being recorded and edited for you all on the same day. <laughs> uh yeah so welcome welcome thanks for clicking this video if you are new here i am tracy hexham the hairy housewife from next door and i make spicy content for the internet um and here on youtube i just share a random things about my life um here with you um and we are currently talking about my themed poison ivy um cosplay type thing um i don't really want to call it a cosplay because i'm not trying to like reenact or recreate any one specific like comic book or movie i'm just kind of like doing my interpretation of poison ivy um because she is my most favorite super villain uh so yeah let's get started if you haven't um make sure that you check out the part one video where I kind of just go over this whole basic idea and how this got started. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, we're going to talk about how it's going. Um, I'm about 10 hours into this project as it is, um, between a washing and drying and then pulling all these plastic bits off. Uh, so I'm about 10 hours into this project. Um, and yeah, I have finished both A Wayward Pines and Echo. Um, Echo is really cool. I hope they put out another series. Um, if you have a series suggestion I, um, you think I should listen to while I am working on this project, feel free to drop it below. I need more TV series to listen to while I'm working on this project because it is taking longer than I thought. Uh, so yeah. Uh, while I'm talking about this, oh, oh, wait, so before I get started, in my first video, this was just a plank page, um, but I did want to show you this little, this is my first kind of fashion design on a piece of paper I've done. I just kind of just wanted to show you what my inspiration is. I think we're going with a bikini. Um, I haven't completed the bottoms yet, so until I do, that poll is still up. Head over to the community tab um, and vote on whether or not you think it should be a bikini or a full, like, bodysuit top. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy at my little um, artsy skills here. Um, and so you can see I've kind of, like, created a collar and some accents um, to go with, I'm hoping. Um, and yeah, I ordered a wig and I ordered some stockings. Um, I think because I have most of the supplies, I'm going to skip the fundraiser, um, that I talked about in the first video and, uh, yeah, just roll with it. You'll be able to see the content at the end. Um, and by the content at the end, I guess, cause I have everything, I guess. I had more than I thought. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, we are going to cut to me washing and drying all of this ivy here. And this isn't even all of it. What you see in the video is just, I think, half of what I was able to get washed. I got it all in the bathtub. And then it was like literally like overflowing out of my bathtub. Like my bathtub literally shit vines. So um, I ended up having to do it in portions. I was sick. Um, I decided to do this while I was sick. And recuperating sick so basically what happened was I then took and did it in portions and I would like fill up the bathtub with some warm water and dish soap and then like agitate and then I would go like take a nap for a 45 minutes to two hours and kind of just like let it soak all out um which I'm thankful for because when you get to the last video these be nasty and this is just one batch like one batch of ivy this is not the water from all of the batch the two batches that i did it's water from one single batch it's disgusting um so i'm glad that i took the time to wash them before sticking them on the outfit um so i'm excited i'm excited uh but yeah dawn dish soap warm water i just like let them soak and then agitate 
um, in between taking naps and then I drained all the water, gave them a good rinse, and then I just shoved them in the dryer on like a no temperature heating setting um, and just let them kind of tumble dry. Um, so yeah, that, that's what that is uh, over here. Um, and then I have this short little um, clip that I'm going to speed through of me getting some of the leaves glued on. Um, when I first started gluing, I thought I was going to be able to glue them with the little spinies on. Um, turns out I can't. Um, and the glue doesn't like stick down flat and they just pop up and it just, it was a, it, it was a fiasco. So in the mix of this fast forwarded video, I was peeling and sticking these plastic bits off, which I don't know what I'm going to do with. This is just like a whole, and it just keeps growing as I go through the project. I don't know what I'm going to use these for, but so I had to peel all of these little plastic thingies off of, the, of them. Um, I have four sizes. I'm trying to find my box. Hold on. So upon pulling all the little leafies off, I realized I have four sizes. So I have kind of like a XL, I would call it. So we have an XL leaf. And then we have like a large leaf, which is what I'm using for the base. Uh, and then... I have a small or like a medium and then like a small tiny one. So I do have some different sizes and colors to work with, I realized. Um, so yeah, we were washed, we were dried, I started gluing. This is where I'm at. Are you ready? This is where I'm at. So I've got the bust and the top almost all the way done, minus the straps here um and this is what it is looking like i still need to go through and glue some of these like super flappy edges down i think where i just didn't get a lot of glue and then around on the bottoms here i already got along the top and the bust area seams uh okay this one needs redone but um so I got that all done and you kind of have to work in sections because the glue, it takes a while to dry. So like I can't just keep gluing and gluing and gluing because I'm like pushing over here, these are starting to pop up. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm at. Um, I'm excited. I'm getting ready to try it on for you guys so you can see what the process is like. But yeah, I have the, or see what the progress is, not process progress is like um I don't have a mannequin um so I'm literally just using it on a pillow or gluing on a pillow uh but yeah like I don't think it looks too like it looks it's looking pretty good I think um so yeah anyways let's try it on so you can see what it looks like and yeah this is pretty much this week's update um, I don't know when I'm going to have another update for you. It might not be next week. It might be the week after. Um, it's so like the second, or sorry, the third Thursday. I don't know. I'll have to look at the calendar. Maybe not next week, but the week after I'll have an update for you. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like now. Going in. Boop. Bam. Okay, so it's a little stiff. I had to go to the last little brackets in order to get it to flip up. Um, so I'm gonna need help to get into it because I've glued all along the elastic bands around the side, it no longer stretches. Um, something I did not anticipate. So yeah, uh, on the last band right now, but um, I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, again, most of it is tacked down, but like popping this, putting this on, I just popped one of these just because it didn't have enough give to like fold up. Um, and I'm not talented enough to like buckle it in my back. So uh, I'm probably gonna have to have help 
uh, getting into it just because it is really stiff, but that's okay. That's okay. At least it fits, right? This is why I went with a bra that fit. So I had a nice fitting base. And then, so other than that, once I get down all the little green spots, I'm just going to take one of these like big ones here and then like put it here. And then I may, in the first video, I showed you all these green ones, the green jewels. Um, so I'm thinking about maybe like sticking two or three together to make kind of like a flower leaf you know like that and then drop a jewel in the center i thought that would be cool you know give it a little pizzazz uh but maybe i'll do another poll to see what you guys think um and if we should add a little flower pizzazz um to this outfit um so yeah other than the last little update is I've used half a tube of E6000 so far. Half of a tube has gone into this project. So I'm going to need more. Uh, but that is this week's update. Um, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Make sure to give this video a like um, if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe to come hang out with me more because I want to hang out with you. Uh, and yeah. Um... I will see you next week. I think we are going to do maybe a little story time next week uh, because I don't think I'll have an update on this. Uh, all right, we'll see you later. Have a great week.